Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. You had a little bit of a break from the action. But today, it's time to get back to school, and we're going to do a weather lesson with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. That's me. Let's take a look at what's going on. So you know what? You hear me talk about sometimes so cold fronts, warm fronts, and how it cools down the atmosphere, heats up the atmosphere. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about for today. So we will start you out with the cold fronts explained. So uh, what does this mean? So we'll start you with cold fronts and what they look like. So you have the cold front that's the cold one there behind it you do have the cold air you have the warm front ahead of the cold front you do have the warm air and once again you have that area of low pressure so all this goes into play so not only do you have the cold and warm air but you also do have the moist air ahead of the cold front and behind the cold front you have that dry air with that the cold front passes and the winds will be northerly but ahead of that cold front you do have that southerly flow and that really warms things up so you do have that cold front that moves along Along the surface there and then you have the warm moist air that goes up and over the colder air and you also are going to be dealing with that steep frontal slope so that's look at that steep frontal slope that's going to be different from when the warm front comes into play and I'm going to show you that a little bit later but you have that warm moist air and that warm moist air is going to rise and once you start to have that rising air you hear us talk about thunderstorm activity you'll have the clouds you'll have some thunderstorms as you will have a squall line also that may form so when you hear us talking about the squall line that's when we're talking about thunderstorm activity and with the thunderstorm activity it could turn severe if you have uh, that that uh, line that kind of bows out then you're talking about convective winds and with the convective winds again that's some gusty winds coming through the area so all of it goes hand in hand and I'm just trying to tie everything together for you for today so that was a look at cold fronts now we'll talk about the warm fronts that will be moving into the area as we go through time not so much for today we're going to look at the cold front that will move through and drop temperatures down for tomorrow so this is what we have so you do have again the cool air ahead of the, the warm front behind the warm front once again you're dealing with that warm moist air but this acts a little differently than the cold front so you have the gradual front remember with the other one it was a steep front frontal slope I should say then you have the warm moist air that's going to move in over the cooler air so a difference you'll have those clouds form but with this one if the air is cold enough ahead of that front, then you're going to be dealing with wintry type weather, so a wintry mix. Now with that said, you guys are not in school, but if you were in school, you still would be okay because of course it's too warm for this type of activity as of now. So once again, uh, once we start to get into the colder months, you'll be talking and we'll be dealing with a little bit of a wintry mix if this setup does happen. But this is just a gist of what happens with the cold fronts and the warm fronts. Uh, if you watch me on television, you'll see that setup where I have the area of low pressure, I have the warm front, I have the cold front, but this is just explained, breaking it down for you just a little bit more. So once again, another weather lesson with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Have a great day, everyone.